Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome back to another episode. My name is Alex George, for those that are new to the channel. For those that aren't, um, you'll have seen probably some of the work that I've been doing uh, around mental health, some of the campaigns I've been doing on my social media, um, and basically, I've got a big announcement to, to make. Um, today is the biggest day of my life. Um, I say that with, with some confidence, um, and there's a few reasons for that. Um, I am today, going to meet the Prime Minister of this country, Boris Johnson. Um, I can't really believe that I'm saying that. Like, it's, it, it's, it just blows my mind, really, that, that I'm actually doing this and that I'm saying that today, on this day, I'll be having a meeting with the Prime Minister. Um, as you guys will have seen, I've been campaigning very hard recently around mental health, um, you know, wanting to bring mental health to the forefront of everything we do here. You'll have seen, you know, my brother passed in the summer and since that happened, I was like, no, we've got to make this change. We've got to do it. We've got to do it. And I spent months and months and months speaking to all the mental health charities, experts in this field, psychiatrists, educational leads, uh, very importantly, students who really understand what's going on. Obviously, a lot of my campaign has been around schools. I wanted to make those changes. And the three key areas that I've talked about is for teach support for teachers and also training for teachers around mental health, something I know a lot of teachers have been calling for, changes to the curriculum and prioritising mental health within the curriculum and also support for, for, for children at school, especially with what's happening. We need to see so much support for everyone and all the children that are going to be experiencing real difficulty now coming out of um, this pandemic in particular. The support I've received has been absolutely incredible. And honestly, the reason I'm meeting the Prime Minister today, today is because of you guys at home and what you have done. And what I truly believe is that when enough people decide that the status quo is no longer acceptable, that is when you see change. And that is what I think has happened here. I've had a lot of conversations with Number 10 over the last few weeks, many, many meetings, lots of, uh, in terms of Zoom calls and, and everything, speaking with them, you know, explaining my suggested changes, talking about my proposals, etc. And I actually have been really, really, really pleasantly surprised, to be honest, how receptive Number 10 have been, speaking to the advisors, um, who want to hear my ideas. I got a, a phone call and um, I want you to be the ambassador for mental health, which, I mean, if you think when I started this campaign, my hope was that I could speak to the Prime Minister and get some of my ideas across and hopefully make some change. I never expected that I would be offered such a position. Um, and as ambassador, um, I will be um, sitting on uh, committee meetings around funding, uh, in, in, uh, around funding, around mental health and at schools and education. I'll be working with the Department of Education, the Department of Health, um, and it's a meaningful role. Um, ultimately, obviously, mental health for me is a bipartisan issue. It doesn't belong to any party. It's not about party politics. I'll work with whatever government is, is in power to do this, and that is absolutely fundamental. So what's happening today? Um, I am about to go and meet the Prime Minister at number 10 Downing Street. We're going to sit down in a meeting to talk, obviously, about um, exactly some of the, the role, some of the things that I want to achieve. It's the first proper business meeting around this, if you like, um, as well as you know, formally meeting the Prime Minister as well. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, Alex, please don't tell me you're going in your black t-shirt, hoodie and jeans to meet the PM. I'm not. I have a suit ready. I'm going to go and change in a few seconds. I'll show you guys the suit before I go. Uh, and then I need to be on my way, really. Let's go. Now then, what do you think? Slightly different to my uh, usual black t-shirt uh, and hoodie vibes, but um, very important, obviously, with everything that's going on today. Thanks to Eden Ravenscroft for this uh, lovely uh, suit. It's, uh, it's a very nice fit indeed. Right, guys, my cab is about to arrive. This is really happening. I'm gonna do my very, very best. You know, uh, in all seriousness, I'm doing this for my brother. I'm doing it for my family. I'm doing it for everyone that, is, um, that does suffer uh, with a mental health, for anyone that in the future might have struggles. Uh, I'm gonna do my very best and uh, yeah, I'll give it my all. Let's do it. Come on, team. Let's go. And I'm really, really passionate about helping young people through what has been an incredibly difficult time. As you've said, there, you know, they've shown such resilience really um, uh, in this time. But we need to be there to support them, to provide the structures in place so that when children go back to school uh, in the coming months and years, that we really help them um, get through this time. That we build, you know, resilience and we give them the toolkit that they need to be able to go on to become adults that are. Um, you know, able to do what they want in life, but happy and 
fe feeling that they've been you know looked after totally Every, everyone has mental health and it isn't a bad word isn't a bad thing when you talk about physical health think about sports cardiovascular fitness all these things mental health can be about resilience about building yourself about feeling positive about mindfulness it can be a really good thing and that's what that's what I want to do we're bringing positivity but the, big, cool. the big flip that I like about what you're saying is, and the big, the big the big switch is is from thinking about mental health as a, a positive thing that you can, we can all yeah. improve. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so it's not just that there's a category of people who mm -hmm. suffer from what we, you know, whatever we call mental mm -hmm. health problems, but there's a, that, that everybody actually can benefit from taking their mental health seriously, just as we take our, our well, physical there's, there's, health. There's, you know, when things go wrong, as they do in life, we can't put cotton wool around people, we can't protect, prevent bad things happening in the world, but if we can give people that toolkit so that when things go wrong, they know how to look after themselves, they know who to go to. I, I lost my brother this summer, um, you know, he, was, he was 19, about to go to medical school, and we were incredibly proud of him as a family, and sadly, you know, he took his own life, and I think the pressures of this pandemic I think played a big I'm part. I'm so so sorry. Thank you about that, uh, Alex. And uh, I, you know, I, I can only imagine mm -hmm. what it what it must be like to mm -hmm. use a to lose a, a younger brother like that. And uh, it, it, it's it's fantastic that uh, you you know you you want to use all your experience and uh, uh, and all that you've been through to help other people and to and to, and maybe to reach out to people yeah. who who feel, who yeah. find themselves feeling that uh, sense of. Uh, whatever it is that, that drives people uh, to, to despair and, and showing that there is another way. And I think that uh, there are so many different categories and some of it is going to be th about therapy mm -hmm. and help. And I believe strongly that uh, therapy and help can make a huge difference mm -hmm. to people. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, we're, we're putting a lot of investment into uh, mental health care services. But sometimes it, I think people can be helped by something as, mm. as simple as listening to somebody such as yourself, mm. talking about it, uh, reaching out to them. Um, Breaking down that stigma, isn't it? And the feeling that, you know, I want to live in a world where people feel like they can speak about their mental health in the same way as their physical health. You know, the number of times, you know, I work in A&E and I've seen people come in who have, um, you know, really struggled with mental health. And I'm the first person they've talked to and I think that's really sad. It's almost a failure in some ways of society that that person couldn't speak to a loved one, a friend or a GP before they ended up in that in that position. So I think the passion and the feeling for this country is we want to make positive change, we want to move forward. That's, you know, we have made some steps clearly. There is some positivity there with some of the change that may being made, but we've got further to go. And of course this Definitely. pandemic means we've got so much work to do. And I'm hungry and I really want to help and I feel very honored to, to do this. Well, I it's, hope I can it's, help. it's fantastic that you're that you're that you're you're doing it. It's a massively important issue for our country. There are there are simple things that you can help to to teach us all. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you. Let's Thank do you. some let's make some change. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, I'm back. Um, I'm just back from number 10 down the street. I am absolutely like, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. It's it's been it's been unbelievable. You know, you get there um, to the gates and you go up to the you know the famous down street gates and um, your ID gets checked and they check your bags and everything and then you get this like number with the number of like electronic devices you have. Get to the front door and you're standing in front of 10 Downing Street and you walk up to it. You don't press a buzzer. You walk up to it and the door just opens. You're like, okay, and I like come in. Took my um, took my kind of phone and everything as, as kind of security procedures are. And then I basically went and met some of the team um, that I'm going to be working with, uh, the incredible advisors at, at Number 10 who um, have been really supportive of my campaign actually and like kind of listened to what I've had to say. Um, and then I waited in one of the rooms um, where actually Margaret Thatcher used to do a lot of her work from. Uh, I was waiting there for, for, to meet the, the PM for a little while. And then doors burst open uh, and in comes the Prime Minister. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just like a really like, wow, this is happening. We sat down obviously uh, at a distance and spoke for a while about some of the things that I've been doing, the work I've been doing, this campaign. I said how much you know you guys have all supported this and how much the public is behind this and we all want this change to support young people. Prime Minister said that we're glad to have you on this role um, as a mental health ambassador and you know I'm going to be working 
with, uh, as we discussed, I'm going to be working with the Department of Education, Department of Health, um, sitting on committee meetings, hopefully influencing some really positive change because, as I said to the Prime Minister, at the end of the day, mental health affects everyone. It's about building gen a generation of people um, that ha have the tools they need to look after their mental health and looking after not just current generation but future generations as well. Honestly, like you, you pinch yourself in life sometimes and you think, this is unbelievable. You know, whatever you think about what the government has done, doesn't do, etc. To sit in number ten and be there with, you know, the busiest man in the country right now and have his time for half an hour um, to speak with him and kind of really get across the things that we care about. Unbelievable. You know, I, I yeah, I don't know what to say really apart from that. It's just just incredible. So yeah, it's an exciting announcement to make. Again, you know, thank you to everyone that supported me. There's a lot of work to be done. This is just the beginning. Um, I'm going to be working very hard on this issue. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts uh, about the campaign, any ideas you have as well, of course. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'm so glad to finally tell you. Don't forget to um, do the usual like, subscribe, um, click on the subscribe button down below. There's a lot more content going to be coming about this, and we talk about this a lot more. Um, but I need to just chill out now and take my suit off and relax because I've had a heart rate of about 150 for the last uh, two or three hours. So yeah. Thank you guys so much again, and uh, I'm really, really positive that we're going to do some amazing things. Thank you for this opportunity. I'll do my best for you guys. I'll do the best for my brother as well. You know, I hope I've done him very proud today. Take care, everyone, and goodbye.